Okay, today we are tying the Psycho Prince. Um, <clears throat> I really like the, the Prince Nymph for, well, just for everything. It's a great attractor pattern, so why not tie this variation? Um, if you love Prince Nymphs and their variations, hit that like button uh, because <laughs> Prince Nymphs are great. Um, we're starting off with a Bowling Mill 5085 in size 14 in the vise and a 2.8 millimeter slotted copper tungsten bead. Um, you can use a countersunk bead. I use the slotted tungsten because I have a lot of them. I don't really buy too many countersunk beads anymore. And I think it they work just fine on these hooks, even though they're more made for a jig hook. You can still just kind of get that bead. It takes maybe a little bit more. Uh, even with thread wraps, kind of get that bead seated. And for the thread, let's see if we can get that in the picture since I started this. I'm using some Simplify 12 aught in dark mocha brown. So this is going to be very much like a Prince Nymph. You're going to have your Biot tails. Here, I just have this fiery brown. Just get your tails and orient them so that they're you know, splaying away from each other. And about half half to three quarter hook hook uh hook shank ends up looking about right. end up with something like that and I wouldn't be too worried if they're not like that that wasn't that one a little bit straighter than that one they're gonna move around a little bit in the in the water and nothing in nature sits perfectly so it's not like the natural ones have this perfect V-shaped in the in the back there. And next, I like to tie in some small wire. Um, this time, I'm using hot orange. You can use just normal copper, or depending on the body color, you can you know change it up. Since the body color on kind of the original Psycho prints is an orange color, I thought, why not use this uh, hot orange? The hot orange wire. Then for the carapace, Kind of the shell back. The original plan, uh, pattern uses 
turkey tail. I don't have any, so I'm going to substitute some uh, some pheasant tail. But just know if you want to really really have it be kind of like the original, you're going to want to grab some turkey tail. I just kind of cut a chunk of the fibers off. Try to keep them connected as best you can. Because we're going to come in here and try to get these tied in on top. Try not to crowd the, the hook eye or the bead. We want this so that we can fold it forward and, and keep it right on top. So with this pattern, This was kind of uh, designed to be more natural uh, and give you that contrast between the, what the underbody is and the kind of the back of a lot of nymphs. It kind of keeps it uh, a, kind of keeps it camouflaged from uh, things when, when they're crawling around on the rock. For the body, orange ice dub is what's used. I didn't have any orange, so I'm using shrimp pink because shrimp pink is basically orange. Um, but if you have the orange, you can get that. Or obviously there's a million different things you can do with ice dub. You can do a purple, purple, pink, uh, really anything. Uh, change that color to whatever your favorite uh, colors are. I really like orange in my flies. My confidence color. We're just going to dub a nice body here. And this is one of those flies that if it's kind of buggy, I don't think it matters that much. I'm going to try to keep these fibers together, uh, not let let them kind of move around to where there's like you can see the orange between them, and just get that on top there. You can thin these out. A 
and up close. And now we can counteract that with this wire. We'll give it some nice segmentation. The segmentation on flies is always uh, always great. I think it that you know breaks up those bo the body, and I think that's something that trout look for. Seeing that, but it's all kind of uh, that segmentation just makes it look more natural. Helicopter that wire out of there. Now you have that dark back, the belly. I probably could have made that a little bit wider, but it's there. I don't think the fish will care. But now with a normal prince nymph, you'd get some white uh, biots and make those wings kind of wings or horns kind of coming straight back. Um, this pattern uses slightly lighter colored brown than um, the tail. Since I love prince nymphs, I really only have this fiery brown and white. So I'm just going to use some more fiery brown. So get your biot to where it's like here, it's turning down. We want these to turn away from the body and have it go down about three quarters lengths from of the body. So you can start with it a little bit low on that side. The thread tension will kind of pull it up. Our other leg on the other side, about three quarters of the body. Now on this side, your thread tension pulls it a little bit down. So just to be careful, we might have to try to adjust it back up. Get those locked in. And then trim those out close. And I like to bring the thread back to the back of that tie-in point because <clears throat> these wing buds or whatever, it can be a little bit difficult to tie in. What I end up using, because I didn't have of what was originally part of the pattern, is I use some floral fiber in white. Um, You just want something. I like this floral fly, fiber. Floral fiber. It's almost like extremely tiny uh, crystal flash. So it's really flashy and, and uh, eye catching. So I just tie it in just a little bit right there. Might have even missed a couple fibers. That's okay. I have a pretty good clump here. And then I come in. Trim it off fairly short. It's just a little wing bud right there on top. And then we're going to make a little collar of UV brown. I believe, regardless of the variation, if the body is uh, purple, pink, whatever 
color, you know, red, whatever body color you, that might be plenty actually, you want to go with, it always finishes with a, a color of brown. Really does give a nice contrast to the to the body. And trout a lot of times they're looking for for contrast. <clears throat> well, I might be a little bit I might tie it a little bit bushier. Uh, with that collar and whatnot, but I, I, I do like when it it kind of gets a little bugged out, kind of like what a Prince Nymph would have for a uh, 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 a soft hackle collar. Uh, anyways, that is a Psycho Prince. Go ahead and like this video if you love Prince Nymphs and all their variations. Uh, drop a comment that if you love Prince Nymphs, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.